Welcome to Body Sculpt of New York Six Weeks to Fitness Podcast, where we hope to inform, motivate, encourage, and inspire you towards living a healthier lifestyle. And now, here's your host, the president of Body Sculpt of New York, Vince Ferguson. Hi, welcome to episode 167 of my Six Weeks to Fitness Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. Do you like to dance? Well, how would you like to lose weight, tone up your midsection, build a positive self-image while praising and worshiping God through dance? Sounds good, doesn't it? Well, my next guest, professional dancer and choreographer, Jacqueline Selesky, is doing just that with her Fit for Faith with Jacqueline YouTube channel. And I felt like it was a Zumba class, you know, like a dance cardio class, but worship music and everybody was following me and it felt amazing. And I'm like, wow, what if I did a YouTube channel that had, you know, dance cardio classes catered towards praise and worship music. And it's like a little dose of church (laughs) on YouTube. And then I could also speak about, you know, the word Bible verses, little devotional videos and help grow my faith while maybe other people need to do the same thing and get a sweat on. So that's where Fit for Faith came in. (laughs) Jacqueline Selesky is a professional dancer and choreographer. She graduated from Montclair State University with a BA in dance education. She was the lead soloist in Martha Graham's Daughters of the Night, performed at the Joyce Theater in New York City. Jacqueline appeared on Spike Lee's She's Gotta Have It Netflix series, as well as a dancer on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, Good Morning America, and live with Kelly and Ryan. And she also appeared in various television commercials. Jacqueline has recently started her own YouTube channel called Fit for Faith, with Jacqueline, where she streams praise and worship dance cardio classes and all things fitness, dance, and faith. Jacqueline's experiences have allowed her to not only advance her skills as a dancer, but also as a well-rounded performing artist and educator. And I am so pleased to have Jacqueline Selesky on my Six Weeks to Fitness podcast. Jacqueline, how are you? I am good. You know, I forgot about most of those things that you just said. So thank you for the reminder. (laughs) (laughs) Really? And this is only the tip of this is only the tip of of the iceberg of what you've done. So that's amazing. (laughs) Thank you. Now the people who know you, do they call you Jackie Jackie or just Jacqueline? You know, I always say whatever you feel, you can call me, but it's funny because Jacqueline was not used a lot, but as I get older I really like my full name, Jacqueline, but I'm so used to my mom saying, you know how moms do, Jacqueline over and grinding her teeth when I was in trouble. (laughs) But yeah, whatever is your preference. Okay, Jacqueline. Okay. I got you. Got you. But before we talk about your, your Fit for Faith with Jacqueline YouTube channel, tell my listeners more about you. Where did you grow up and what was your childhood like? So... I grew up in Long Island in a little town called Central Islip, and I actually grew up doing a lot. My mom had me in so many different things. She had me in basketball, Girl Scouts, and I was always doing something after school. And, like, I'm so grateful to my mom for giving me all of these opportunities. Baton twirling too. I'm forgetting things. There's just so much. And then eventually my best friend was doing dance. So my mom allowed me to go with her to dance class. And then from there, I just, every dance took over everything. So I stopped basketball. I stopped everything else. And I just fell in love with dancing and performing. And as I grew up in that studio, I was actually afforded the opportunity to perform in Puerto Rico, perform all over the city and in Long Island. So that's my bringing up is basically dance took over. Yes. (laughs) And it was a blessing. Amazing. (laughs) So it was the exposure to different activities that led you to dance. Yeah, it definitely was. I know that everything that I was exposed to was definitely like physical and social and putting all the physical and social together dance just made the most sense to me 
did you have any role models in the dance world? Yes. So my dance teacher, Geraldine Diaz, actually, she basically became my sister. Um, She was my role model all throughout my childhood. She basically wanted to be a professional dancer, but she actually went to be a speech pathologist. So she kind of lived vicariously through me and poured everything into me and not only did she teach me how to dance, but she taught me how to be confident, how to speak my mind. And yeah, I give a lot to her. Also my mother, like she was a single mother. And as I said before, she gave me all the opportunities possible. And just seeing these powerful women in my life, just do it and, you know, go for whatever they wanted and be confident, independent women really, really molded me. Wow. Excellent. Excellent. Now, has the COVID-19 pandemic affected your work as a dancer in regards to employment opportunities? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Any dancers listening will be like, oh, yes, please open back up. But I mean, I'm grateful that everybody's staying safe, but it's definitely been harder. I have an agent and usually, you know, I'm sent on auditions, so I'll be running all over the city auditioning auditions been virtual now um which i don't mind because living in long island i really don't want to travel to the city so it's like oh yeah it could just be virtual yeah. but the energy is different i'm not able to you know you're not able to connect with a casting director via you know a video but it is what it is and it's actually allowed to pour more into what i want to do for myself with my youtube channel so it's been a blessing in disguise kind of thing Oh, most definitely. And now, and having a YouTube channel really doesn't hurt because if, if anything, it increases your exposure, doesn't it? Oh, yes, by a lot. I'm reaching people from all over the world, which is amazing, which you can't normally do just from a dance studio. So I love the fact that, you know, YouTube has been giving me more exposure, especially during COVID, because everybody's on the computer and on their phone right now. Oh, exactly. Most definitely. Now, you call your YouTube channel Fit for Faith with Jacqueline. Now, tell my listeners where the name came from and what can they expect to experience, uh, you know, participating in your program? So Fit for Faith came about, you know, it's funny. I wanted to start a YouTube channel six years ago. It's crazy. It's crazy how, like, long we can put something off for um, and just, like, dream it up so much. And then the pandemic hit and it was like, well, this is the perfect time to do this, <laughs> you know? So yes. let me go ahead and just do this channel. And I knew that I wanted to do something about dance. So like taking it back six years ago, I was all right, I want to do a YouTube channel about dance. And then right. over time I was like, well, what would that look like? That's really general. And then I started going to church um, I was born again about three years ago. And nice. then every time I would go to um, church service on Sundays, I was actually in a Spanish church. I was the only English speaking person that they translated for. <laughs> um, oh, but wow. hey, the, really? the word, right? So yes. I go to church and they would always throw me in the center during worship and everybody would just follow me. And I felt like it was a Zumba class, you know, like a dance cardio class but worship music and everybody was following me and it felt amazing and I'm like wow what if I did a YouTube channel that had you know dance cardio classes catered towards praise and worship music and it's like a little dose of church (laughs) on YouTube and then I could also speak about you know the word bible verses little devotional videos and help grow my faith while maybe other people need to uh, do the same thing and get a sweat on. So that's where Fit for Feast came in. <laughs> well, yeah, well, love it. I love that. I love that. Now, how important is faith to you, especially in times like these? Wow. I didn't realize how much I needed to grow in my faith until this pandemic hit. It's like, I mean, we could probably all agree, that it feels like it's smacked since <laughs> and like shook us up to the core and like is still doing that. We're trying to like navigate and figure out how to 
how to live in all of this. And what I realized is that faith is the only constant throughout a pandemic, <laughs> throughout yes. a breakup, <laughs> throughout a divorce, you know, whatever somebody may be going through. That's the, that's the only thing that we can really stay steadfast in and, and won't change for us. And what could only happen is it can grow and become even more beautiful. So faith, is important. <laughs> yeah, I see. I see. And you're able to express it with your YouTube channel. Now, what kind of what type of music do you have um, on the channel? So I try to have a diverse set of music each time I do a dance cardio video, and I call it praise and worship dance cardio classes. And we'll have gospel. We'll have um, you know, Kirk Franklin, and we'll put the bachata and even merengue and salsa. It's crazy how many um, Latin praise and worship songs there are. I'm like, wow, I couldn't, I didn't even know. So, so, so <laughs> and also what I've been falling in love with is soca. Soca, soca. music for yes. um, praise and worship songs. I'm like, whoa, they are serious. Yeah. They're like, stomp out the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Go on my channel and you'll see what I'm talking about. They're so much fun. Really? Now, how long has the channel been around? I literally only started in August, so it's very new. Yes. Yeah, I started on my birthday. Um, I turned, oh, I'm about to tell my age. I turned 29 on August 27th, and I'm like, you know what? This last year of uh, my 20s, I want to hit with a bang. And I want to start this channel and bring more people to the light, to God, to just goodness, you know? Yes, yes, yes. Excellent, excellent. And how long are, you, how long are the classes? So I literally do 20 to 25-minute classes because I know a lot of people don't have time to get a big workout in. And you know what? It sometimes only takes 20 minutes to get a nice workout. You know, we don't have to do so much to to get what we need and what we want so it's really about how much you put into it um and i'm crazy so yeah. <laughs> on the channel so as soon as the warm-up starts i'm like it's not really a warm-up let's go crazy so, so <laughs> 20 minutes that's all we need and honestly every day i've been having a 90-day faith and fitness challenge and in those videos they're like five to ten minutes long and I start with the Bible verse, and then I give people an action step for your day, like oh. open the door for somebody, you know, something just nice to, to keep you in a good spirit and spread the good spirit. And then we always end in a plank while praying. <laughs> really? Really? Very yeah. cool. Very cool. Are these live fitness classes? So I've done a couple of lives, but most of them are pre-recorded, and then I post them up um, throughout the week. But okay. I'm thinking about doing more live videos, so I'm glad that you said that, because I think the connecting with people is what I miss about teaching live classes. Yes. So look out for the live classes coming soon. Well, once you go live, do you have a certain day and time you'll do that? I want to do them on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I feel like those are those are days that might be tough for people. You know, Mondays are always like, oh, Monday, I got to wake up. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> Wednesday's exactly. that, like, dragging your feet Wednesday, and then Friday's kind of like a celebratory. We made it. Exactly. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Would they be in the morning, afternoon, or evenings? I would love to do it in the morning to start people's days off. And then, hey, if they can't make the live version, they'll stay on there so they can catch it later. Right. <laughs> okay, so that's something that we're going to look forward to with your live classes. But now, can, if I wanted to find your, your program, can I go to YouTube and just type in Fit for Faith with Jacqueline? That's how I find it? Yes. yes. That's all you got to do is Fit for Faith with Jacqueline, and you will see me. Perfect, perfect. Now, who would you say your target audience is? You know, that's an interesting question because, you know, when you start a YouTube channel, all the videos prep you say, you know, make sure you are targeting your target audience. Right. And to <laughs> me, everyone is my audience. Ah. That's how I feel. I feel that 
anyone can can get something positive from this channel, whether it's you just tune in for the videos that I'm talking and we do the little planks and we pray or we do wall sits and we pray or you come in for the dance cardio classes. It's for everyone because the Bible's for everyone and that's what I'm talking about on my channel and in general just talking about living positively, spreading light and spreading love. Hmm. Most definitely, most definitely, especially today. So do you see this as a sort of like a health ministry and a way to honor God with exercise? Yes, definitely. Definitely a health ministry. And honestly, I'm just grateful to God that he gave me this because it's allowed me to be creative in how I produce content with dance too, you know? So it's definitely a health ministry, but you can go on there for a party too. (laughs) <laughs> yes, yes. Now, there is a scripture in the Bible about our bodies being the temple of the Holy Spirit, but yet so many people defile the temple, don't they? Yes, so many. And you know what? I I was one of them. Okay, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and you know, I've always been an emotional eater. Um, and I know I'm not the only one, but I like hit that for so long. I'm like, oh, oh, it's fine because nobody can tell because I have such a fast metabolism let me tell you when quarantine hit fast metabolism went out the door oh yeah oh yes (laughs) so it changed and like god giving me this vision to do this channel has helped me be able to stay healthy sometimes even though i want to eat crazy and whatnot having to show up for channel and you know be on it and do these videos and not it's not just about looking good but feeling good while I do it because yes. that's that show people can see, you know? Yes. So it's definitely helped me to stop defiling my body because you can do it in so many ways. How are you promoting your channel? So I've been on Facebook and Instagram a lot and I also just started a TikTok. Ah, <laughs> I've oh yeah. very old on TikTok, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, how do you do this stuff? But I'm learning. <laughs> Um, so basically on those three social media platforms and I'm thinking about going on Twitter because I've heard that that's a good spot to be. I sound old right now. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, yes, yes. Yes. I mean, the the key is promoting on every platform you possibly can, you know, to kind of give yourself a nice little boost, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, And I think Instagram is hands down one of the best, obviously Instagram, you know, Mm -hmm the Facebook, the Twitter, that TikTok, because again, you may feel like that that's a, a younger audience, but trust me, a lot of people are on there and you want to grab as many people as possible, you know? Mm-hmm. That's great, that's great, that's great. And what we'll do, you know, I'll tag you once this comes out and I'll also promote it in Facebook, on Twitter and Instagram and I, you know, I'll put it out there as well because I like what you're doing, um, you Thank know, you. for the people, for everyone, you know? Yeah. And that's important. Any age can join in with you, correct? Any age can join in with me. What's great is that a couple weeks ago, my friend wasn't feeling great, like her back. Um, She's going through something with her back. And she came just to watch the video because I have a bunch of girls who come and do the dance card video with me. And she's like, oh, I just came to watch today. My back really hurts. And I was like, hey, because I'm crazy. (laughs) You can sit in the chair. And you can do the warm up, and we'll do, and you just do arms. I said that I bet there's people out there, there you go. who can't get up out of their chair, and they wanna they wanna participate, but I'm going all over the place that they feel they can't follow. Now they can follow you in the chair. And what's great is that someone definitely commented and said, "Thank you. This was a blessing that you had the woman in the chair. I followed her along the whole time." So everybody can join in, no matter what age. You're right. Just being mindful that everyone, what people who are watching you, they may not be as healthy. They may have certain conditions. And like you said, your friend who needed to be in the chair, there are so many other people watching who also are limited in their mobility and needed to see someone like them. That's so important. Awesome. Exactly. I love it. Do you talk about, I know you don't have a lot of time on the channel. Do you talk about nutrition at all? You know, I haven't spoke about it so much, I guess, because I've been doing 90 days of faith and fitness challenge. So I've been 
into um, these little videos that I do every day. Yeah. But that's something that I'm going to start doing in January because I'm going to do a 21 day water fast. And I just want to oh. be on the channel with everybody, whoever wants to join me in doing that. But also I want to talk about regular nutrition and how, you know, cause that's not a normal thing to keep up. Um, every day right on our normal days so just talking about nutrition and how important that is to couple alongside with fitness and yes. then also faith hmm. oh definitely because nutrition believe it or not and i tell a lot of people this and as a trainer that 80 percent of health of your health depends on nutrition so, so true so much okay more than some people realize exercise is extremely important but you, but if you don't have that nutrition component, you're wasting your time. You know. Exactly. That's exactly how I feel. Yes, and that's good. And you're leading the way, which is awesome. Now, what would you say if I said to you, try to convince someone who's on the fence, who needs to do something, needs a fitness program. They're in the church and they're concerned about their health. What would you say to this person if you wanted to convince them to? Give it a shot to join your class, come in and see what, you know, what you're doing and be a part of the program. What would you say to them? I would say, because I, I get not wanting to work out, I get being like skeptical if it's something you're new to, because honestly, though, I grew up as a dancer. Yes. Um, I didn't work out. You know what I mean? I didn't do anything besides dance. So when the quarantine, when quarantine hit, I was like, I need to work out. Like my body is starting to slow down and whatnot. This was a great introduction for me because it allowed me to have fun and forget that I was working out, especially for people who already go to church, who already hear the praise and worship song. It's basically like we are in church at a party <laughs> uh -huh, nice. and we're able to work out and forget that we're working out until after when you're, drenched in sweat and it's amazing and my friend said this really good thing one time she said when we dance we are praising him twice wow and that that just explains it all because that's what makes you forget about it too you're in these songs you know shouting out amen hallelujah having fun you know even if you're alone and you forget you're working out it's like make a joyful noise unto the lord huh Exactly. And honestly, it's one step at a time. Hey, 20 minutes is too much for you. Do the first two songs and call it a day. One step at a time. Nice. One step at a time. Now, I know you focus on the cardio. Do you do any strength training? I know you mentioned planks, which is great. So we've been doing the planks and we've been doing the wall sit while we pray, which is such a challenge. Okay. That's why we call it plank <laughs> challenge and wall sit challenge to pray while we do those things because we literally do need to pray. Oh, oh, that, <laughs> Sometimes that. I'm like, God, please help me do this plank. Yes. <laughs> but um, as of right now, we're just doing the dance cardio and those planks and the wall sits. But as the channel develops more, I would love to do more strength training. I would love to even incorporate, you know, stretching and cool downs and things of that nature. Excellent, excellent. As you develop your channel, you can offer so much more. Amazing. Tell my listeners how we can find out more about Jacqueline Seleski. Do you have a website? Can we follow you on social media? I'm at J2Reality. And then my full name for Facebook, Jacqueline Seleski. And I'm new on TikTok, so be kind to me there. But <laughs> <laughs> I am at Fit, Fit for Faith on TikTok. So everything is basically my name and Fit for Faith. And I'm going to be having a website soon. And I'm also going to be offering private lessons and classes, group classes for anybody who wants to, you know, personally meet me and have class one on one with me. Love it. Absolutely love it because you are you are an entrepreneur. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying out here. Oh, you got to. You're doing that <laughs> and you're taking the right steps. You're doing the right thing. You're going to build a following and people are going to be so into what you have to offer them and they will want to work with you. You'll lead the way, Jacqueline. This is great. Any final words for my, for my listeners? You know, I know it's hard right now out there, whatever you may be going 
you personally, in your career, in your family, but just know God got you. You're going to be okay. And this is the verse I use every day. And you can use this for a man to just switch it to a he. I say, she is clothed in strength and dignity, and she lasts without fear of the future. Proverbs 31, 25. We are going to make it. Let's dance our way through this pandemic, and we'll make it to the other side. Awesome. Love it. I'll take those words to heart myself. Thank you so much. (laughs) Jacqueline Selesky, (laughs) on behalf of Body Scope of New York and Six Weeks of Fitness, I truly want to thank you for coming on my show today. Thank you so, so, so much for having me. And to my listeners, I truly hope this program was informative, encouraging, and inspiring, and that you will continue tuning in to our Six Weeks of Fitness podcast. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for the show, please leave them on my Six Weeks of Fitness blog at www.sixweeksoffitness.com or email me at Vince at sixweeks.com. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Take care. Bye-bye.